Morning! Morning! <laughs> we are just waiting for Bruce from Tank Busters to come and sort out our fuel tank. <laughs> So we can get the engine working. Yeah, again. so he should he should be here in about half an hour. So we're just we're just hanging around waiting. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much like what we've been doing the rest of the week. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. That's about and it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back when he's uh, when he's here. <laughs> When Tank Busters first arrived, they took a sample of our fuel to show us the current state of it. We have a suction lance that takes the fuel from the tank into the magnet. Right. You can't see the magnet at the moment because the fuel is so contaminated. Yeah. There's a magnet that will trap all the rust metallic items that then passes it through into a filter bag that filters to one micron inside there. Yeah. So that's taking out all the diesel bug and there's billions of them. Yeah. Not millions, billions, yeah. the spores, yeah. dead ones and live ones, along with other, other contamination. It then passes from there into four water removal filters. Now they remove water to a hundred parts per million. So what's going back into the tank, this is a test point here, okay. and it tells us what the filters are like. Yeah. If it's cloudy, then we need to change the filters. filters yeah. So that's what's going back into the tank, and we just keep repeating the process okay. until eventually we can see the magnet, yeah. and that tells us that we've broken the back of the contamination. And this bag here, and that is full of diesel bug, if you can see the slime. Some of it's general contamination, yeah. but I can see straight away the most of it is diesel bug. That's all that slimy stuff. After the first 15 to 20 minutes of filtering, the filter bag needed to be swapped out for a fresh one, and then the process of filtering our fuel tank continued. So that's all rust. That's all rust, I'll show you in a moment. So all of that is rust. It looks fine rust, but we'll see as we progress. And there's some of your diesel bug. See, it's all slimy. Oh, yeah. And that's the diesel bug. Oh. Now that's telling me we might have to do this a few times, but we'll see. Over the course of the filtering process, the magnet had to be cleaned off several times, but eventually the fuel running through it began to get cleaner. Partway through, the four water filters needed to be changed. They were heavy with water and some of that pesky diesel bug had made its way through the fuel filter and into the water filters. The fuel filter had to be swapped out several times, but eventually our fuel was clean. That's our fuel now. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> the Tank Busters crew has uh, taken off. They've uh, left us <laughs> after doing a very thorough job of cleaning out our fuel tank. Mm. <laughs> when they showed me the first uh, sample of fuel that they pulled out, yeah. half of it is fuel and half of it is water. And uh, in the end, they took 40 litres of water, water out of our fuel tank. 40 litres of water, that's a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quite fascinating to watch them do it. But uh, yeah, so now we should have no water in our fuel tank, which is what you want. Yeah. <laughs> and our fuel looks sparkly and clean and red, <laughs> not murky and brown and water filled. Definitely worth doing, especially if your boat's coming up to the same age as ours, which is yeah. about 15 years, because uh, he said this is when they do start developing these issues. So 
probably something to keep in mind because it's much cheaper to pay uh, our bill came to about 650 pounds and it's much cheaper to pay 650 pounds than it is to pay thousands of pounds to pay thousands of pounds to get your en potentially engine potentially put either a new engine or get it yeah because yeah. diesel bug can do some serious damage yeah. he said diesel bug when it heats up can be more abrasive than concrete mm. you don't want concrete in your engine <laughs> <laughs> it is not a good thing for your engine as us done for today we're going to go and have some lunch and and then start doing engine work yeah yeah then start <laughs> bleeding our engine again yep. and hopefully this time we will get our boat <laughs> going and we'll be able to actually start properly cruising <laughs> yeah hopefully it won't take all day this time too <laughs> yeah yeah hopefully it'll be a fairly easy process all right let's go get let's some get, lunch let's get lunching lunch time pixel <laughs> nice she's, time she's, pixel. she's comfy just laying out on the <laughs> on the deck comfortable pixel you enjoying the sun <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the afternoon after Tank Busters left, we got in the engine bay, tried to bleed the system, get ourselves running again, yeah. but we didn't get very far on our checklist for getting ourselves running because the very first part is making sure that there is fuel coming from the tank to the first filter. To the first filter. If there's no fuel coming from there, you You're can't really go very further. <laughs> So there was still no fuel coming from the fuel tank to the first filter. Yeah, we called RCR out again just to see what they might say. No real answers yet. Yeah. We're still kind of fig trying to figure things still out. Still trying to troubleshoot it, to be honest. Yeah. But anyway, after that afternoon, we were quite frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'd kind of pinned our hopes on the fact that, oh, tank buses is coming out. Yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. clean our tank. It'll sort the problem and away we'll go. So we were quite uh, frustrated that afternoon. So we decided that was this was getting up to about six o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah. we're like, let's just leave it. We'll go watch a movie. De-stress. De-stress because we were getting very stressed. Yeah, <laughs> to prevent a break breakdown. Yes. Not of the mechanical variety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was going to be another breakdown if we didn't yeah. stop. <laughs> And so soon after the bathroom break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a stressful start of the year for yeah, us. Yeah, <laughs> it has, yeah. Not to worry, these things happen. And we've got both Bruce from Tank Buses and RCR working with us to try and get this problem sorted. So it's really yeah. great that everyone's coming together to try and sort out this problem and figure out what exactly is going on. So yeah. I'm about to get into the engine bay and uh, on the phone to Bruce to do a little bit of troubleshooting. If we can't get started, can't get going, at least RCR are going to come out and they're going to set us up with a temporary fuel tank. Um, so so that, we can get to a workshop. Yeah, we can get to a workshop because by that point, that's what we're going to need. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, run the engine if we need to, because obviously it is a bit overcast today and yeah. there was a few spots of rain. There Which is starting now. Yeah. Too. And obviously we can't run our engine and we can't rely on solar power on a day like today. Yeah. So let's see uh, what we can get done today. Yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It'll all work. We'll get ourselves <laughs> going. <laughs> let's see how we go. Yeah. That's a decent chunk. That's a decent. That was, there's a that was a decent little bit of plastic. Was it? Yeah. It was about three centimeters in length and all bunched up. Oh Christ! I bet that's what it was. Then. I reckon that's what it was. Um, right now, what, have you got it all out? I think so. I'm gonna have another look. Because what I want you to do is to turn the stopcock on, but make sure you've got the container underneath it. Yeah, alright. It's not comfortable in here. <laughs> <laughs> we were having trouble getting to the stopcock, which we need to take off to check for any more blockages. And uh, Ryan had a big brain moment and uh, thought about lifting up the weed hatch and getting in that way. So. <laughs> 
It was a bit hard for me to try and get in there and loosen it, so he's doing the first bit for me. Ah. It is later that day, the evening, sun's starting to go down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we have a running engine. Finally. <laughs> so after we fished that piece of plastic out of the stopcock, that was pretty much the problem solved. We didn't quite realize, we kind of expected from what people were saying to us that fuel should come out. But everybody else was kind of working on the assumption that, because these were people who hadn't actually seen, seen inside our engine, engine. but who were helping us, that our fuel lines come out of the top part of the engine rather than being just a yeah. few centimeters from the bottom of the tank so we needed to repressurize the fuel tank which we didn't realize yes. at the time but we called crt not crt, not CRT RCR. The rcr we had the rcr uh engineer come back out yeah and he had a look to check things over reconnect everything back yeah, up because we just weren't sure we were like is that it is that it yeah. sorted because we weren't getting any fuel through he checked the filter and replaced the filter mm -hmm. because it wasn't quite installed properly last time we would have a leak yep and he pressurized the system again and it went going it kept going like first time wasn't it oh yeah the engine started up first time so yeah. <laughs> That was exciting, yeah. and it kept going. We <laughs> ran it for a good 20 minutes to be sure. Yeah. And tomorrow we are planning to set off and continue down Heartbreak Hill and do more locks. So it will get a good run in tomorrow. Yeah. So, but at least now we know that our fuel tank is clean. <laughs> yep, there's no more debris that'll get sucked up. No. Nope. No more rust or anything in there. It'll be it's, nice, it's fresh. It's a shiny, clean tank. <laughs> nice, clean tank. <laughs> yeah, so Bruce was really great help, considering he really didn't have to be on the phone all morning to us trying to help us figure out this issue, but he did, and he was yeah. really great at kind of guiding us through the process of... Um, Troubleshooting it, yeah. Yeah, troubleshooting. So, yeah, thanks for that, Bruce. <laughs> and, yeah, RCR as well, again brilliant because we <laughs> we had unhooked the fuel line and could not figure out how to get it hooked back up again yeah. it's, it was like it was yeah. evading us it yeah, shouldn't yeah. be that difficult we just couldn't get the it. line thread like the the thread lined up with the other thread and it was just like we couldn't oh, we just, yeah it was just we tried and tried it we couldn't get it we're like no we, we weren't willing to force it because once you ruin a thread it's it's forever leaking after that so yeah but rcr saw the better yeah so we are going again which is brilliant that's a load off our mind yep. we're far less stressed we've been super <laughs> happy this afternoon we were like, yeah we've got a running engine yeah we've got finally. a running engine <laughs> don't have to worry about running out of electricity and yeah we've been really lucky that I guess coming into summer we have had uh, sunshine all week oh yeah that's been a godsend does not it <laughs> yeah yeah so thank goodness for that and uh, we're gonna start cruising tomorrow aren't we Pixel? Yeah. just looking forward to that all right so it's the next morning we are raring to go <laughs> we yep. are so ready to be cruising after being sat here for just over a week waiting <laughs> for ah oh, this fuel tank issue to be resolved which it finally is <laughs> yeah finally fixed got a haircut ryan's got a haircut <laughs> maggie did that for me yesterday evening yeah and we are going to do the rest of heartbreak hill locks today i don't know how many that is probably about 15 is it 15 more locks i think there was like 22 23 wasn't there i don't know it is it's around 15 in the teens, i think in the <laughs> yeah. teens. mid teens or higher <laughs> yeah so we've got a few locks to do today and we'll get down to the services because we are <laughs> low on water the pump the water pump is starting to make grumbling yeah. noises like saying, when you own a boat and you're running low on water you know exactly <laughs> the sound that your pump like it's a slightly <laughs> different pitch and you're like I'm down to my last 10% of water. <laughs> yeah, so we desperately need water, which makes sense considering we've been here for a, couple, a week or so now. Yep. So that's that's <laughs> the plan for today, and we're super excited to be cruising again. <laughs> the sun's come out, it's super bright. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sun is out. Even though so. the weather report said it was supposed to be cloudy. Which we were kind of glad for. Yeah, it was going to be a bit cooler, <laughs> and it was going to be yeah. a lot of locks, but oh well. well the sun's fine, we sun's don't mind. <laughs> We just put some hats on, some sun cream, and away we go. Yep. <sighs> you ready, Pixel? 
She's not ready. She hasn't got a life jacket on. She just came up without being told. <laughs> She's excited too. Yeah. <laughs> She's ready. She's so excited. <laughs> Got your little life jacket on. There we go. A little tail starts wagging. <laughs> she knows what the life jacket means. Gonna go cruising, Pixel. Are you excited? <sighs> she needs a little bit tightening. <laughs> there we go. There we go. She's like, yeah, let's go. Let's start the engine. And it should start first try. If not, we, uh oh. <laughs> wasted energy. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to stop and have a chat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get so to do the work. Hang on, what, what, is your, what does your t-shirt say? What's that? Your t-shirt says what? Um, she procrastinate. Procrastinate. Pot kettle? Pot kettle? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just saying that you abandon your lock keeping duties. <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> Thanks, Jojo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you too. See you around. Yeah, see you Thanks for the help. <laughs> for shame, Maggie. I'll get back to work now. <laughs> <laughs> Letting our viewers do all the work on the locks. <laughs> i 
As you can see, somebody fell in the canal. <laughs> Maggie was able to get her from the side, but she's approaching her luck. She's going to spell herself. Very wet puppies on board now, don't we? What are you going to go out of circles for? Did you see our otter friend? Yeah, we saw an otter in the water. He was so cute. We don't get many otters or that kind of stuff in Australia. Not in Australia. Too many waterborne predators. The first <laughs> one we've seen here though. Yeah. This lot's got a wee leak in the side. I'm making up for my earlier laziness. I'm doing two locks at once, helping one single hander up and that's down. We 
you abandoned your luck keeping duties. <laughs> I'm making up for it. Here we are, end of the locks, at the services, ready to top up with water and then we'll move on and find some nice spot to mow for the day. So we're coming up to the area where they used to mine the salt and apparently due to subsidence the canal is actually quite deep in this area in certain spots. They've just raised the canal banks on each side instead of leveling out the um, canal when the whole area subside. So the book does warn us that people who don't swim wear your life jackets just in case in this area. Well, we made it down the locks. <laughs> British Heartbreak Hill. Yeah. Heart's not broken, just our bodies a little bit. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> what I kept, I kept falling over. You did a little bit, yeah. But like every time there was a large rock in the middle of the path, I would turn around to see how Maggie was doing when I was doing the locks, and then... You'd find it. <laughs> yeah, I'd find it. <laughs> yeah, even I found a few holes and, yeah. and rocks, yeah. We are now moored up. Um, engine's still running fine, no more problems. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. <sighs> so we're just gonna sit here for today, probably tomorrow. We've gotta edit a video well, to get yeah, out to got, you wonderful people. Yes, we've got work to do, so. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.